Really quick before this video starts, if you do have some extra time or you want to go window shopping for some game accounts, uh, go ahead and check out the uh, link in the description below for Messy Modding Store. Uh, you can get all types of accounts and stuff. You can get Fortnite accounts, GTA accounts, Apex accounts, Clash accounts, uh, Red Dead accounts. That's the content I upload if you're looking for that. That's on there. Uh, COD accounts, Forza accounts, Valorant stuff. There, there's all kinds of stuff you can get on this website. You can also sell your account to them if you are willing to do that. Uh, they there's a section that they have called Sell to Us at the top of their website. You can click on it, uh, you give them your name, your email, and tell them about your account. You can submit it, and they might you know, give you a quote on it or offer you some money for it, and you can sell your account to them if you do want to. But yeah, that's all I had to say about this. If you're interested, check it out. If you're not, then the video is about to start. Hey guys, the Better Editor. I'm coming at you guys with a uh, solo money and gold glitch in the game of Red Dead Online. We're going to be focusing on Trevor. Uh, Trevor. Yes, we're going to be focusing on Trevor from GTA 5. Now, we're going to be focusing on treasure maps, and in this this, what we're going to be doing is I uploaded this a couple weeks ago where I was doing it on PC. You can do this on any console, by the way. Uh, and there's really no rank requirement to it as long as you go, as long as you have the blood money missions unlocked. And if you don't have them, you got to meet up with uh, some Italian dude in Saint Denis, and he's like a part of this mob family and everything like that. And once you meet up with him, then you basically have access to the blood money missions. And there should be a new tab in your uh, in your online. If you go press the pause button, go to online. There should be a new tab called Crimes. And if you click that, it'll teleport you right to one of the people uh, that offer the missions. The one I uploaded, I said, in uh, Disconnect Your Internet. I didn't know this. Apparently on PC, you can actually Alt F4 the game. Shout out to somebody that said this in my comments. You can actually Alt F4 the game if you're on PC. Uh, if you're on Xbox, PS4, uh, you can either disconnect or close your, uh, close your app. And now I'm going to show you how to do it. If you're new to this, I'm going to show you if, what how to do it from step one. If, if you've seen my video on this a couple weeks ago, uh, it still works. I just did it today. You know, this is kind of like a video as saying it still works. And number two, you can do it by all that flooring on PC if you're if you're on PC. Because I know disconnecting your internet on PC is a lot more going out of your way than it is on console. Uh, at least on PS4 because you can just disconnect it in the menu. Disconnecting on PC, especially if you're using like a Wi-Fi card or something, you kind of got to go out of your way. So I'm going to try to fix that for you. Uh, but your first step though, if you have the blood money missions unlocked and everything like that, you want to go to one of the blood money mission people. You can either travel there or you can press the pause button, go to online and go to crimes. Uh, and you don't want Joe. For some reason, Joe never has the type of missions that you want to get. You want to get like a stagecoach mission uh, and really every one of them have it, but Joe for some reason. And also I wouldn't rec recommend doing the ones in, in New Austin because there's not really too many treasure maps that spawn on trees and not too many treasure hunters down there. The bulk of them is going to be in like New Hanover and north of Strawberry. So once you start up a stagecoach stick up or just any of the ones where you're not going to have a time limit, uh, then then you're golden. Then you can go look around for treasure maps. I'll leave a link in the description for the RDO map and I'll also be putting up a little bit of footage for you to watch. Uh, it shows you, you got to, you know, select some settings to get, you know, or, you know, go through the filter to get these to show up you know exclusively but when they do show up you can uh, look around and pinpoint exactly where these things can spawn at it's not a guaranteed spawn obviously it's a chance and starting this mission up just kinda like I don't exactly know what the mission even does I guess it like boosts the chances of it spawning I mean cuz this is the most consistent method I've ever done with this I've never gotten maps to spawn consistently this easy until I did this. Also, shouts out to Helderado. I believe he was the founder for it. He'll be in the description as well. Once you start up one of those missions, just go look around for a map uh, or a treasure hunter. And once you go find one, then you're golden. You know, for some reason, the first one I went to, it was a treasure hunter, and he was instantly hostile and started shooting at me. Murder them if they're doing that. If you kill them while they're holding the map... It'll fall on the ground and you walk over it and you automatically pick it up. If you kill them when they have the map away, like if they're hostile to you, you gotta actually loot them. And so that's what I had to do. This guy uh, had to do to this guy had to do to this guy. Jesus Christ! Uh, once you do loot him or you see the map on the right hand side of your screen, uh, either close your app or disconnect from your internet. For me, I was on PC, so I quickly pressed Alt F4 and then Enter, and that closes the game out. And after that, then you just want to start the game back up. And then when you get to the menu, the main menu of the game, where you're in the online section, press Crimes, and it should send you to one of the crime people. Don't do Joe. If you spawn next to Joe, then do the same thing. Press the pause button, go to online, go to Crimes. Also, this will make it to where you don't get a cooldown. And uh, don't worry if you accidentally go to the objective of the mission. It'll start a timer, but you can still go hunt around for maps. I did that both times I tried to do this today. 
Uh, it just instantly would give me a timer if I got remotely close to the area. But uh, on your second attempt doing it, you're just going to do the same thing. You're going to start up one of those stagecoach missions or whatever. Go hunt around for a map. And uh, hopefully you find one. Uh, if you do find one, then you know just do the same exact thing. And you can do this over and over and over and over and keep hogging up all these maps. Uh, if you don't find one on your second attempt, second attempt, uh, then just close your game out or disconnect from your internet or find a new session uh, and go to crimes again and then start it over because uh, sometimes it just won't spawn. You'll go to like every single possible spawn location for a map and one just won't spawn. That can happen, uh, but if you go to crimes again or you restart your game or whatever, then it should be working again. If not, if you've tried that like two or three times and no map has spawned whatsoever, it's possible that you may have triggered a cooldown. Uh, which for the treasure maps is about three days. So unfortunately, if you just can't get one to spawn, you might have to wait a little bit. Also, if you've recently found a treasure hunter, let's say you found a treasure hunter yesterday and you looted his map and you didn't disconnect or close after anything, you might be under that cooldown. And I don't know how to get rid of the cooldown. There's a way to do it on PS4 that... Uh, what was that dude's name? Lamps or something like that? I think that was his name. It's been a long time since I saw him. But... He had uploaded a method on how to get rid of the cooldown on PS4, but I had no idea how to do it. It was something to do with a USB, and I, I even like DM'd the guy and asked him what exact files you moved to the USB, but I, I still was a little confused on where to approach that from. But yeah, basically you're just going to be doing this same thing you see me doing in the video over and over. And you can get yourself a whole lot of maps. Do keep in mind, though, that I think the limit in your inventory is 30 maps. Uh, and then you can have, I think, 5 maps in post offices and stuff. But that's not going to really count for this. So just, if you have 30 maps in your inventory, then you need to stop doing this and go collect some treasure. Uh, or if you want to do the same, like, treasure map spot over and over. Like, if you want to do Burn Town over and over again, for example then you want to fill up your treasure maps to where you're full and then you just want to do the treasure map burn town go to burn town get the treasure and then start doing this glitch again and then you'll get the same location every time because the game can't give you any other one because you already have every possible location but yeah that's pretty much it for the video if you guys did like this video then drop it a like if you dislike this video then drop it a dislike if you guys want to uh, see more if you guys want to see more videos like this, let me restart the outro because I accidentally stopped recording. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. If you guys did like this video, then drop it a like. If you dislike this video, then drop it a dislike. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and hit the sub button. You will see more. Other than all that stuff, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.